We are also tracking breaking news out of Oshawa, Ontario, which is just east of Toronto. We're going to show you the scene where five people were found dead after an early morning shooting here at this home. Now, forensic teams have been on site for hours. They're doing what they normally do, collect evidence. We know a sixth person was taken to hospital with gunshot wounds. CBC's Linda Ward is right there in Oshawa. Around 1.20 this morning, police responded to multiple calls for shots fired at this red brick two-story home here on Park Lane Avenue in Oshawa. This is a quiet street and neighbors say they heard multiple gunshots, woke them from their sleep and they looked outside to see a dramatic scene unfolding. I just heard um, banging, really, really loud banging and screaming, a female screaming. I was, I didn't know what was going on, but the banging continued, continued and I thought maybe this is gunshots. I didn't know where it was coming from. I was afraid to to go outside to look around and then I hear the sirens. Police initially said there were four victims of the shooting found inside the home, but later said that the alleged shooter was not included in that death toll and is believed to be among the dead. Here's the latest from Durham Police. There are five victims within that residence, including the alleged suspect. So we have uh, one female, four males, um, but we're still waiting on the coroner to attend and uh, hopefully with his direction we'll be able to get uh, the proper uh, age and genders of all the involved parties. The deceased include two adult males, a female whose age is unknown and two boys in their teens. An adult female was also taken to hospital with non-life threatening gunshot wounds. Now neighbors have been very distraught here on this street today. They tell us that it's a family of six that lives in this home, mom, dad, three boys and a daughter. Now, here's what the neighbors tell us about this family. Kind, outgoing people, really, really nice. So just shocking. Yeah, it's very shocking. They're very happy, uh, outgoing, uh, very family oriented people. Like I say, super kind. Um, just very, very involved with their kids and, and you know what they're doing in the, in the community. You just can't so. imagine. It doesn't make any, any sense at all, no. Family members here, too distraught to speak, say simply that the family was wonderful. Now, police say that the victims did reside at the home, but they're not sure if the suspect was living here or perhaps just visiting. This morning's investigation centering around a white Ford pickup truck parked outside of the home, towed by police earlier today. Linda Ward, CBC News, Oshawa, Ontario.